Guardians, welcome back to Right Way Gaming. So today I'm going to be talking about a bit of a brainstorm or an idea that I've had, um, which is on akimbo weapons in D2. Now before I get into this I am going to give you a heads up. My personal thought on is that it won't happen, um, but I will go into more detail on that as we go through this video. Now. What made me think about this is I've seen a few things about an interview with Mark Norsworthy and a few comments from Luke Smith basically saying and hinting that how we now have two primary weapons there could be some form of link as to why they're doing that. Now off the back of this people are jumping on the bandwagon and saying that basically this means there's going to be a Kimbo weapons. And as fun as that would be, I think the impact it would have on the game would either be too great or too weak for it to be actually be of any... Well, it basically ruined the balance like a lot of stuff in Destiny did. For example, if you had dual sidearms, that would be devastating. Now obviously if you did have dual side arms, it would take the away the advantage of being to aim down sights, but I feel in close quarters it wouldn't make a difference and you'd still end up being ridiculously too powerful with just two side arms. Now obviously I'm basing okay. this off the fact that side arms still have the same kill time as what they do in Destiny, which is more likely than they don't, but the matter of the fact is, is having two sidearms still basically doubles the kill time. Now I'm going to get into what I think could be possible. In the interview and basically what the comment, I'll get into the comment that Luke Smith said afterwards. I'm going to get into the interview first because they're kind of two separate things. In the interview Matt Norsworthy says that basically there is going to be a link between the kinetic weapon and the energy weapon. Now, I don't think this is a Kimbo because I still feel that they're two separate weapons. Um, one's energy, one's kinetic. What I think he means by this link is that certain weapons will have some sort of partnership bonus damage or bonus perk. Um, so two hand cannons might have a brotherly relationship, meaning that you get a fourth perk, which is outlaw, for example, increasing the reload speed on precision kills with both weapons. Another idea could be that you gain some sort of like sling where equipping both of them weapons allows you to switch between them quicker, making it quicker to switch weapons than to reload. I think that this is the lines that they're going to go down rather than Akimbo. I think Akimbo would end up being completely too overpowering and ruin the game and ruin the balance that they've been working towards. Now on to the second thing. Apparently Luke Smith said at, I don't know if it was one of the, if it was a reveal event for D2 or if it's been in another interview, I've not been able to find the source yet, but he basically said that dual welding sidearms would be fun. Now, yeah, they would be fun, but I think that points out the fact that he's basically saying that that's not going to happen because it would be fun, but it just wouldn't be feasible. It would not make sense. Not only that, but there hasn't been any physical hints or any physical views of such thing. You know, we have seen new exotics like the Dubious Volley without actually seeing them or being used, for example. Um, and I think that we'd have found out by now. Obviously this is a, my own opinion, there's opinions out there proving different, that there could be akimbo weapons, but working it out off current kill times and just being logical about it as to why it couldn't work kind of says why they won't be doing it. Now, on the opposite side of that, um, as negative as I am about this, I'm going to be positive as well. It could work, and the way they could make it work is, like I said, they'd take away your aim down sights, your ADS, meaning you couldn't aim, so it'd have to be used for close quarters at all times, unless you're lucky. 
It would also mean you are losing the ability to switch to your secondary. Therefore, if you run out of ammo, you have to reload. Obviously, if they did do it, there would be lots of other things. I can't think of many of them if, if they did do it as how to they would make it balanced and how would they make it fair. Maybe each weapon fires at a separate rate. So left, right, left, right, they won't fire at the same time. But if that's the case, then it'd just be the same as really holding one. Maybe slightly faster. Maybe there'd be a impact to accuracy in general. Maybe dual welding the weapons means that you get a faster fire rate, but reduced accuracy and increased recoil. This is many different ways that they could make it work, but overall I feel it would make too much of a, a positive impact and cause unbalance to the game. I don't know what you guys think, but feel free to drop your comments below, drop a like if you think that I'm right, and if you don't think I'm right, then again, feel free to comment below as to why you think that is, and I'd be happily to reply and get a bit of a conversation going on this. That's it from me this time, guys. I will see you next time. Guardians, right way gaming, over and out.